right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Every Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. International. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Let your hands go! Let those hands go! Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Lee's shot is blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Take him down. Oh, nice knee of the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes.
very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Beautiful kick. Just kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. it up going to the head mixing in some body shots Lee's strike attempt there is blocked throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home big kick lands he missed with that jab attempt there big ball Land. Now he gets back to range. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Checks that leg kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Had him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just missed with the straight left hand. Straight punch lands. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big body kick. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Strong straight left there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Ten seconds to go. Oh, slips to avoid the run. Lee going for the leg kick, he misses. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Fight goes on. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, big. 
big left. Overhand left, swing and a miss. Good punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Hook attempt now, blocked though by Lee. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, there he goes, attack. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Effective punch there by Lee. Trying to kick the leg out. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. You got to check these low leg kicks. Yeah, he's fixed it all up. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Well, a ring. Effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, it's time to start using that low kick. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Great punch landed with so much power. Ooh, head kick lands. is hurt. Checks the leg kick. Straight right hand. Connects now with the one two. What a body kick. Oh, wow. Head kick. Oh, yes. Now we're going. He went high on that one. There may be even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish.
Third round underway. just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice strike. Real nice body kick land. Just missed with the left there. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Nice punch by Lee. Big head kick. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can go long. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Lee's hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Got the single collar tie. Slips the shot. Counters beautifully with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate.
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. Too. That was so... <laughs> Thus far, how's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He has a oh! Oh! Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Just over three minutes now to go. Under three minutes remain in round four. North-South position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Just misses there with the left. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to his feet. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well timed knee to the body. Lee gets caught with that punch. Final minute. And the switch kick lands. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. He blocks the punch. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh! He needs to start hey. making the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. There's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 51 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was...